Hey, I'm Jen from BK, and here's what's on Hot 7 Now. City Girls Young Miami is pregnant with baby number two. She at first denied it when news first broke, but now confirmed it on her IG. But no worries, the internet says it's still going to be a City Girl summer, period. Look at that belly. She really did a good job covering it up at Summer Jam because we couldn't tell. And it ain't too hard to tell. He excelled, then prevailed. Nas also made a big announcement. He will be dropping the Lost Tapes 2. Are you hyped? I know I am. Just like I was to watch Netflix's Black Mirror, I finally saw it, and here comes the spoiler alert, so skim past this part if you're not trying to hear it, okay? The show is infamous for bridging the digital world into crazy, dark, everyday storylines, but this season took it a step further, showing you how being obsessed with technology can change your life. Now in one of the episodes, Miley Cyrus plays a character named Ashley who's similar to her infamous Hannah Montana. She has a robot that turns into one of her fans' best friends, while Miley's aunt tries to pollute her with pills that keep fueling her creativity sick, twisted stuff. And in another episode, Anthony Mackie plays a Mortal Kombat-ish virtual reality video game with his friend who he just reconnected with. But the game turns into a question of his sexuality. In the VR game, you can see and feel every movement. Now, Anthony Mackie's friend picks a female character while he picks a strong male character. The fight takes a turn and they end up having sexual encounters in the game. Oh my God, the two become obsessed with playing out their sexual fantasies in the game, neglecting their real life relationships, which happens to be a lot of like gamers out there, let's be real. But either way, Black Mirror really does a great job showing us what the world can and will probably become when AI and tech elevates to the next level. I've been late to the party, and I'm telling you, the show is worth watching. Just like Ava DuVernay's When They See Us, also on Netflix about the Central Park Five story, you can't help but feel sad and angry after seeing it. Now guess who else is angry? Linda Farstein. The prosecutor on the case, depicted as a racist, is speaking against Ava, saying the series is so full of distortions and falsehoods, including the suspects being held without food, deprived of their parents' company and advice, and not even allowed to use the bathroom. And she went on to say, the show is missing the larger picture of that terrible night a riot in the dark that resulted in the apprehension of more than 15 teenagers who set upon multiple victims. Eight others were attacked, including two men who were beaten so savagely that they required hospitalization for head injuries. Many people are calling for her to sit her ass down. Book publishers have already dropped her books, and her photo was removed from the Hall of Fame in Mount Vernon, as they should. Anyway, it's a riveting, emotional series, a great spin on Ken Burns' documentary a few years ago. Watch it, but it may be hard for you to sit down and sit through it, just like it was for me. That's what's next in TV and film, made hot by Next Generation. Hit up nextgeneration.net for more info and drop comments down below. Let me know what you think about the shows, if you watch it or if you haven't watched it, all right? Now, if you want more of Hot 7 now, subscribe to us on YouTube or any of our social channels below as well. Plus, go to hotnate7.com for the latest news. I'm out. I'll talk to you later.